second day of the pitching sessions here in Queenstown District and we're here at the Department of Education in Riddle C. I'm Nenskele Loplaki. I'm Devanik van Grunen. My name is Nenskele My name is Tundu. Sipo Shongwane from Lady Grey Arts Academy. I'm doing grade 11 at Sopogase Kanye. I'm from Who Can Tell, my grade 11 then. From Lady Grey Arts Academy. I want to encourage the youth in my, in my community. My script uh, basically is connected with the abuse of the children here in South Africa. There are many people and kids in South Africa that don't have the opportunities that we have, so we should make the best of it. Now WOMI is now for us to help us to reach their our success. I look at it as a way of um, developing uh, the many communities that you are reaching out to and for young people to express themselves in different ways. I'm so glad I can't even say it. I'm so glad. We're going to ask you to tell us your name, which school you come from, and we will give you one minute to tell us about your story. At the end of a minute, if you're still busy, I'm going to hit the bell to stop you. Then we'll ask you some questions and we'll make a decision. And what is your story about? My story is about a teenage girl who lives with her mother and her stepfather who sexually abused her. But she meets friends that are not good for her. Lebo's friends try to influence her into doing bad things. She gets pregnant. She is pregnant by her father, her stepfather. She even tested HIV positive. If you were sitting here and you listened to how many people tell us a story like this, it would be easier for you to understand. To hear a common story, I need to hear something that I'm not expecting, something unusual. I don't think I'll, I'll be able to read it. I'm not going to read your script. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you for trying. Thank you for it. Okay. The life curtains drops prod prodigally, for giving us peace and happiness. You couldn't really tell me the whole story. And, and because of that, I'll, I'll say no. It's just, I'm beckoning to, to, to understand the whole story. Probably also why you battle to communicate what happens in your story is because there's actually a lot in your story. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. My story does not have a specific main character, but mainly it has one main issue, that drug abuse in the school premises is not right. The issue already has people's support. What people are interested in a movie is somebody's story. Your audience will connect with the characters. For me, unfortunately, I'm going to say no. Thank you. The student realized and saw the teacher at a different angle, and he's the one who turned out to be a teacher who inspired other gangsters. I've got some doubts, but hang on, I'm prepared to to give it a chance. We might find enough of a story to have something that's a bit unique. This girl wants to go to her friend's party, but her mother actually, but her father did not address. Her father go to Zimkita's room. If Zimkita wants to go to the party, must first sleep with him. There's enough potential for for me to want to read it. Yeah. Same here. Three, Three years. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. You can bring it to us. She has feelings for her male teacher. The male teacher is a, is a person who likes to talk to children, so the love that he has for children, she mixes it with the feelings. Yeah, it's nice to have yeah. a teacher who's actually not a bad man, who's mm. actually not yes. abusing the students for a change. I'm going to guess it's three yeses. Yeah? yeah. Well done. Well done. Brats. You know them all. Every brat gets his or her day. A group of kids get forced into a detention class where they are locked in overnight. I want to read your play. I want to read it. <laughs> Thank you, well, well done. done. <laughs> like he finds himself in a difficult time. His aunt has some secrets. What are the aunt's secrets? His aunt hired people to, to murder his husband. I like your story. I'll make it easy. I want to read your script. The way in which you told the story to us was very good and it kept my interest. Okay, I'll well, take your script. <laughs> Hey, come back and shop with Pastor Tim. Pastor Tim. Yeah. What's the matter, Susan? Tiavu, I got cold. 
Okay, two, two, one. I had a maybe. Uh, it was a maybe for me. This teacher who arrives at the school, the class that he's teaching, are known for giving teachers a really hard time. It's two, a strong two. maybe for me. Yeah. I like it. When the teacher fails to win the class, he turns a gun to himself and his wife. And also it was yeah. a bit rough for me. I maybe did. I do like it a lot. It was a hard time for him to do that, and then the students also giving him a hard time, so he just decided to end it all. There's so much that he's tied up. He's planted things at the right places. Mm -hmm. He's landed it. It's also it's different to, to a lot of the others. Him ending it all changed a life of a student who took upon the challenge to himself to change others. Replay for a bit today. for a bit today. That one. Lady Grey. Lady Grey. Yeah. I'm prepared to drive to Lady Grey to make this movie. With me, I have two learners from Lady Grey Arts Academy. What were you guys discussing with the Nabubomi producers today? Um, they actually workshopped us, if I could say, on how to put up a film, you know, the forms that we have to fill in, like scheduling, things like that, uh, which is actually something new to us. And I also did a bit of uh, script editing, because apparently my script was quite you know, thick than the required, you know. You need to make a score on your character's face. Okay. <laughs> So that needs to, you need to work out how you're going to do that. And what will you be doing in these next two weeks before the filming of your story? Uh, first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to cast, you know, our first cast, and then we're going to start rehearsing. I also have to like find uh, students who are interested in working together on the day of the shoot so that they can also learn quite a lot. So it's a lot of work, but I'm looking forward to it. The Lady Grey Arts Academy is one of its kind of, or three schools, academies that you have in the whole of South Africa. We offer art subjects linked to academic subjects, which make us so unique. Through drama, they do a lot of things like lighting, sound engineering, design, costumes. They must design uh, productions. So I believe that after grade 12, they are quite right for the theater and whatever career they want to follow within the arts. Today is the actual filming here at Lady Grey Arts and Academy. And action! <laughs> Perfect. Unga chongi camera va. Salu chonga Good girl. How are you feeling right now? I'm I'm nervous. I'm scared because it's my first time to direct a film. I'm used to directing a theatre, you know, projects at school. But um, I'm ready for the challenge. What are you hoping for today? I'm, I'm hoping that I put the, uh, the vision that I had on script to reality now and make it work. Otherwise, I'm hoping for the best and that the actors and whoever, you know, is part of this whole uh, film participate very well and cooperate with me very well. And action. I am so nervous. I'm scared. I just hope it walks off well because we've practiced really hard for this. Honest, Joni. Why did you agree to be the producer? To do something different, you know. Uh, acting is not only my life, but I also want to direct and produce at the same time. So it's a great experience and a great challenge. What has been your favorite experience? Working together with the director, giving him my ideas. 
working together with the cast members, you know, um, bossing them around, that's the best part. Yeah. What's that? Three? Three played for a better day. Brigley here is the clapperboard person. Why did you agree to do clapperboard? It's a favor for Sipo and I'm in the technical crew. Scene 16, shot 1.5, take 2. And action. Nice I'm missing take. something on your face. Okay. Okay. That's why I'm going to rather take it like this. Guy, please explain to us your role. My role is uh, the teacher who's telling the story and describing like how my life was when I was young. <laughs> Just pretend you've received your English mark. <laughs> you got a zero. Why did you bring that up? <laughs> How do you feel about all these cameras which are around you? You want to try and be as normal as possible, but it's difficult. How does Trevor differ from Mr. Robinson? <laughs> Mr. Robinson can't cope with his class, but I think I can. You come at boss. Cut. You come at What has been the most challenging part of your role? Okay, adapting to my character. Yeah, that was really hard. Imagine, I can think of better things to <laughs> Desiree here acts as Mrs. Robinson. Desiree, is it easy acting your part? It's extremely easy. All I do is lie there, look invalidish, and then die at the end. <laughs> Okay, you got to undate yourself as well, eh? Remember that advert where that man was looking for George? Well, 